Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So here in this video, we will try to understand about the pre-rendering -pre concept, actual concept, we will try to understand it. And here if you observe carefully, so we have implemented the routes for this one. So these two routes, product routes are dynamic. So these two are dynamic. So if I click on the product one means I need to get the product one details. And if I click on the product three means I need to get the product three details. And now I need to show the pre-rendering concept. So how the pre-rendering will be worked in this one. So I will try to show you without pre-rendering and also with pre-rendering how it will be implemented I will try to show you. So for this one what we need to do is we need to create the node.js server. So for this one what I will try to do is so here I will create a new file that is nothing but node-main.js file. So this is our main file and here I will create constant express is equal to. So this is a simple uh, express server I am creating. So express. Okay. And for this one, we need to install the express thing already installed and angle necessary. It will be installed already. It will be available in the package.json if you try to observe. So express will be somewhere. Yeah, here it is already installed. And now what we need to have it is for this one. So in order to make it work in the course, so we need to install the course also. So here I will be stopping this one and everything I will be stopping. So here I will be installing npm install course. So in order to have a cross uh, origin issue. So here I can create constant course is equal to required of course so for the by the time the course also will be installed so course is also installed so here let's create the app constant app is equal to express so these are all common thing which you people already know and here app dot use of course so i am using the course so that it will be allowing the, the other domains also to be able to access this one so here i can use app dot listen so i will be listening to the port 3000 so i will keep the port 3000 console.log server listening to port 3000 okay so server listening to port 3000 we can able to write it here so that's it so now so now what i need to do it is so here i will create something like app dot get get request i'm doing so whenever the user tries to access slash api slash products uh, slash id so dynamic thing so you can also use the express rotor to implement this one so i am not using those all the concepts so just i want try to make it as a simple so constant product details is equal to i will create an object that is nothing but id will be same thing like a request dot params dot id okay and the another one will be something like a title so i will use the title request dot oh, sorry <laughs> not request so here I can use uh, product title and here I can use the dollar of request dot params dot id okay and here also I will use the description also simple so I will try to show you so here also I can use products description and here also I can use request dot params dot id that's it so this is our simple code so now what i want to do i want to send this response so here i can send response dot send of this product i will be sending this product that's it so here you need to have response that's it so this is our simple node server okay so this is our simple node server so let's try to start this one node node iphone main dot js file so just i am running this one so here you will be able to see the server will be starting let's see whether the server will be starting or not yeah server listening to the port 3000 okay let's go here and here i want to write localhost colon 3000 slash api slash product slash 3 so here we are able to get successfully the json response so now up to here this one is completed so what we need to do we need to implement it here in this one so in order to implement this one so we need to go to the product dot component dot ts file and here what i want to do here i need to inject the http http is equal to inject of http client okay and here we will be getting the uh, request params id so what i will be trying to do here so on ng on init on init okay and here <coughs> we need to provide uh, what we have what we have here as so a route we need to have the route inject inject of activated route so that we can get the requested param 
so now we we will be getting so here i can have a product simple product dollar which is of observable of product or null is equal to null so this is our observable product of null so here i will be creating export constant sorry interface export interface product and this one should have an id of type string and here you can have a title of type so whether it is a string or not i don't know so let's try to see it here yes it's a string only so here if you want you can also convert it into a number also in the node.js so here description of type string that's it so now let's go into here and this one is an observable which should be imported from the rxjs and here also so now what i want to do here this dot product dollar is equal to so this dot http dot get which gets of type product product and here i need to use H http or otherwise we can use directly the url which we are able to get it here and http localhost and this product will be something like okay we cannot get it this one right so we we need to get the parameter so that one this dot route dot params so this one returns an observable not param map params you can use it dot pipe i am using it and i need to use the merge map for this one and when i get here or otherwise you can use switch map actually the correct one is switch map why because so if any one changes means then this one will be the correct and you will get the params okay here constant id is equal to params dot id or otherwise you can use params of id if you are getting issue something like this so we got the id and here what i can do so this one i can use it and this one we need to return it return this dot http and here i can use directly the id that's it and this one should be stored in a product so now we are able to get the product and now if you want to uh, console.log or something like this means so here you can take it and uh, let's go into the product.component.html and here i can use some div okay h2 and here i can use product details and here i can use some div so title is equal to and here i can use something like ng if is equal to product dollar of async as product and now here i can use title product dot title and here you can use the description product dot description so now this is the and in order to make it work we need to inject the common module in this one common module that's it so now if you try to check the output for this so what we need to do we need to start the npm start okay i am trying to do the npm start here okay so let's try to show you this one so now if i try to show you the why this one gone yeah let me check it again maybe that one is building i think let it build yeah it's still building so fine so localhost 4200 is running right now so let's go into here and uh, here i will try to do localhost colon 4200 let's see whether we can able to see the output or not so it may take some time i think depends my system Till it is uh, doing some re-optimizing dependencies because log file changed. I don't know why it is taking this much of time. So if you people are know about the nice system or something laptop or anything means just let me suggest some laptop with a nice processor and all those things. So I am thinking of to purchase it. Let me know in the comments if you know any nice configuration laptop which will be useful for the programming, programming purpose and all those things. So let me know in the comments. We will see it is re-optimizing dependencies because log file has changed i don't know why it has been changed so fine it is it has running right now now let's go here and still it is refreshing i don't know yeah here we are able to see it and if i click on the product slash 3 we are able to get the title 3 title 1 and also if you go into the inspect element we are able to see the network call also now if i try to make a 3 
So we are able to see the network call also. If I try to refresh this page, okay, so at the back end side, it will be making the call. So this one get request will be cached. In the previous video, we have learned it, but it will be cached, but it will be are able to see the output. So now if I try to refresh this page, so automatically it will be cached. So this is how we will be do. Uh, so this is how we will be setting up the Node.js server. In the next video, what I will try to do it is I will try to show you the exact scenario how the pre-rendering concept will be very much useful and uh, how it will be used as a game changer thing in this one. So up to here it will be working fine. So without any problem, this is the common thing we have set up the Node server and all the things. Now how the pre how we can pre-render the product slash three instead of making a AJAX call to the uh, instead of making an API call to the server without a server without making it how we can pre-render and we, how we can check that whether the pre-render is working fine or proper correctly or not means I will try to show you in the next video. So that's it guys about this one. Hope you understood about this Node.js server setup and all the things. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you next time. Bye.